First of all, I wanted to thank you very much for all you do in thank you. the Bitcoin space. Um, I'm, uh, like Pamela, a lawyer, and you were, like Pam Pamela and yourself, were important factors in me getting extremely excited about um, about the space and thank what you. it can do for even a traditional, uh, coming from a very traditional uh, profession mm -hmm. where we like to stay put. Uh, and I would like to, I, w I hope that many more lawyers get on, get on board on this, so I'm going to do my best to get them enthusiastic. Um, and I find myself um, studying this space and constantly being excited about what is possible, because we have to reinvent our whole industry, new business models, and every day I come across something and I think, wow, I, why didn't I think about this? And I was wondering if you still get excited about s things that you come across, what was the last time that you really got excited to talk? I never saw that coming. Oh, uh, that's probably a weekly experience for me. Uh, I just, just keeping up to date with what's happening in Bitcoin innovation is something that's a full-time job, and I barely managed to do it myself. Um, I'm very excited about some of the new technologies, obviously, uh, payment channels and Lightning Network we were talking about today. I don't think people realize how deep this technology is and how uh, transformational it can be yet. But there's so many other things that people have never heard of that I find fascinating. Um, one of the interesting things about the recent scaling conference in Milan was that it was a showcase of a lot of different approaches towards both privacy and scaling. Um, and some of those ideas were just mind-blowing. I'm reading the papers and trying to understand them. Most recently, I um, heard and better understood uh, Covenant, uh, Covenant technology, which is the ability to put uh, recursive constraints on forward-looking transactions. It was presented by Emin Gonsira at Bitcoin Scaling, just a basic presentation. Um, you have to read the white paper to understand it better. This is still fascinating technology. You can say this UTXO is locked in time, but also the transaction that spends it has to spend this much to this output and has to have a multi-sig or has to have a time lock. And then the transaction that spends that also has to have a time lock so you can chain things into the future. That's fascinating. Um, Mimblewimble. Who's heard of Mimblewimble? Okay. Who understood Mimblewimble? Oh good, nobody tried to lie. I have no, like, I can't even. Um, Mimblewimble is an application of elliptic curve mathematics to a chain that allows you to do radical pruning, extreme scalability, and extreme privacy all in one chain. It was dropped onto an IRC channel as an encrypted Tor link by someone who used the French name for Voldemort from the Harry Potter books, who we have no idea who it is. So when I say that Bitcoin is an incubator for black swans, that's what I mean. Like you think everything's going along normally and some completely anonymous person drops a piece of just mind-blowing science and the entire community goes, what? What the? <laughs> um, we're still trying to understand it. Uh, some of the smartest cryptographers spent weeks trying to understand it and then to explain it at scaling. Um, tumble bits, zero cash, um, segregated witness itself. All of these technologies are fascinating to me. And again, one of the things that I've appreciated about Bitcoin is we have this high level debate that everybody's getting all focused on about the block size, etc. And what that's missing is that underneath, in the development community, the innovation has been accelerating for the last two years. And the stuff that's coming out, it's going to take two or three years to be in your wallet, but it will blow your mind. Yeah, still excited every single day. Still learning every single day. Great. Well, thanks. Keep up the good work. Thank you.